Listen, when you think of a beautiful Corpus Christi scenery out on the bayfront, you always picture kind of the LED lights right out on the bayfront bridge. But the fate of that lighting system is unknown because they weren't expected to stay up this long. Our Javier Guerra is live and has the story for us right now. Javi, tell us more. Hey, Katya, more than 10 years ago, the former city council voted to implement LED lighting to the old Harbor Bridge, thinking that the new Harbor Bridge would be built by now. Now, that life expectancy was about five years. Well, it's been over 10, and now those lights may have to be taken down. People really like them. I think it's beautiful at night. The LED lights on the Harbor Bridge have become part of the Corpus Christi skyline, but they weren't expected to stay up this long. We didn't think we'd be at this point where we'd be talking about taking them down. Uh, so at this point, it's really a safety issue. We don't want our, our traveling public going over that bridge every day. Uh, and being at risk. In 2010, City Council believed that the Harbor Bridge would have been torn down by 2015. The life expectancy of the LED lighting on the Harbor Bridge has exceeded the five years and has been up for more than a decade. There are three options, fix the lighting, fix the brackets, but not the lighting, or completely remove them. Fixing the lighting could cost about a million dollars. The other two options, half of that. We don't think spending a million dollars is financially wise, especially in a city where we have a lot of deferred maintenance and need even just take streets. You know, that could, that could help redo a couple of streets. We asked people on the Bayfront who constantly visit Corpus Christi what they thought of the situation. People really like them. I think it's beautiful at night, so I think they should keep it up until the other bridge is done. And we look forward to seeing the lights, so if there's a new bridge going up, I think the lights need to stay up until the new lights come in. Zanoni says the most logical thing to do at the moment would be to take them down. We're recommending the City Council, along with our partners being TxDOT and the Port of Corpus Christi, uh, and the original installer to just take down the light system. Now, City Council is expected to vote on this soon. Now, that decision could be coming within the next week at next week's City Council meeting. Now, Zanoni says that not to worry. If passed, the new Harbor Bridge will have a state-of-the-art lighting. Reporting in front of the Harbor Bridge, Javier Guerra, Chris 6 News. Back to you, Katia.